Hi, it's Chris from d and Sounds, and this is another tutorial on how to use our desktop app. When you first launch your app, when you first launch the app, you will see a login window. You want to put the email that you are using for our website, and if you don't remember your password, you can click, and you will be taken to the uh, password reset uh, section on our site. Once you have reset your password, then press login. When you logged in, you will see the albums view. But before we go into the views in the app and how to use it, let's quickly dive in into the profile section and the app settings. In here, you can change your password, you can sign out. You will also be able to see all the products that you've purchased from us in the past. In the settings, you can check for the future updates and you can also change the download folder for all the sounds. I recommend changing this folder to a folder on your disk where you've got a significant amount of space as some of the sound packs, especially the WAV formats, are very big due to the high quality of the audio format. The user devices is a list of the devices that you've logged in uh, with your app. Um, there is a limit of two devices, so your account can be logged in at two places at the same time, basically. Now, if you press the sync button, it will basically download all the sounds that you own down to your local hard disk drive. It means that you'll be able to work offline. Uh, and the d Sounds Libraries audio format is where choose the format you want to work with. So in the main view, we are now working with the WAV files. If we change it here to the MP3s, then you will now browse the MP3s. Okay, so let's now dive in into the views. On our left hand side, we can browse by going into each individual pack. Um, the, this is how you can quickly preview the whole pack. If you didn't own any of these packs, you can quickly preview them here and just, um, just scrabble through the preview file to quickly see what's inside. You can also, even if you didn't own the events, you can click more info and audition every single individual sound that's included in the pack. If you didn't own the events, you would also get a price here. With one click, you'll be taken to the landing page of that product where you can purchase it. Makes it easier for the future packs. Now, the reason why you're seeing only a limited amount of the packs um, as you realize, not all the packs that you own, that you saw in your in your account, are not here. This is because this is a still a better version of our app, and we are still in the process of tagging and adding all the sounds so they can be used with the app. For now, we have tagged four packs, events, the moods, and emotional ambiences, as well as the new cinematic wishes pack. Depending on when you're watching this video tutorial, you might see more packs because over the next coming weeks we'll be obviously adding more of our packs into the app. So if you wanna work within the pack, let's say you want it to work with the sounds that are included in the events pack, you may do so by going inside that pack and all the tracks listed here are your main tracks. And if you wanna access some parts of that track, you may use that drop down menu over here, and then you can drag and drop your stem tracks to build the full mix uh, from grounds up. You can use the loops that are included in the track. Same for the moods pack. If you go inside here, you will see all the six musical kits and the full tracks and the versions. So like a short mix as well as all the stem tracks and the moment sounds. Where the power of the app comes is when you go to the um, all of you. This is a list of all the sounds that you own. Uh, currently we've tagged all over 2000 sounds and when you go inside you see all the sounds. Obviously uh, browsing um, and auditioning and previewing each individual track uh, wouldn't make much sense. That's why we've got all of our tags and filters. If you're in a hurry and you want to quickly use our music, you can go to the full tracks view. And these are just the main tracks. So, ready finished um, pieces of music that you can just quickly preview. And then if you like it, you can download here and drag it to your video editing app. So let's say I was using a DaVinci Resolve, make my app. 
smaller like this and then just drag the track to my video editing app like this. You can also add the tracks to your favorites by clicking the heart button. And also if you went back and synced all your files, those cloud icons would have disappeared and you would see only that little tick icon here. That means the, the sound has been synced to your local hard drive and you can now work with those sounds offline and you can drag and drop to your video editor without internet connection. So as for the views on the left hand side, we've talked about looking at all the sounds. These are your full tracks. And now you have top phrases, low tones, mid tones, high tones, signature sounds, rhythms with all the drums and loops, got sound effects over here, hits for those cinematic low hits and transition sounds. So let's talk about these sections. This is how I actually like working and building my soundtrack. This is how to customize your soundtrack. Let's say we were working here in DaVinci Resolve. And by the way, this works for every video editing app. If it was a Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere, then you would drag to your timeline exactly the same way. But I'm using DaVinci Resolve today. So let's, let's use DaVinci Resolve. So I'm going to delete what I've made here. And let's start building a soundtrack from grounds up. What I have is a video footage of some cinematic scenes. I've put some cross dissolve video transitions like that. Let's start adding the sounds now. So obviously you could just add a fully finished track, but let's try um, building a soundtrack now. So let's go to our low tones first. The low tones, as the name suggests, are your low frequency musical tones, tonal ambiences and so forth. So for this scene, I'm probably going to look for something that is calm, perhaps inspiring. Um, as you can see, she's bringing her hands up over here, quite a cinematic inspirational kind of scene. So is the next one. So in our moods, I'm going to select thoughtful. Let's start auditioning some sounds. Okay, let's say I like this breach three simple um, file from the events pack. You can tell it by the origin. So because I haven't synced my sounds yet, so I'm just going quickly to download. And because it's MP3, it's not gonna take long drag and drop it to our timeline. I'm going to move it to the beginning. Now, because I know I'll be layering it with more sounds, I'm going to bring the volume slightly down. Because I've got those cross dissolving transitions, I'm going to layer delicate whooshes to emphasize that transition. In my sound effects, I'm going to type whoosh and I don't want any of the quick wishes. I want my wishes to be long. So I'm going to exclude my quick my quick tag by using that, that red X. None of the uh, search results are quick wishes. If you were to choose a quick wish, I would simply just click on the quick and this is how your tag is selected and all your search results are including only quick wishes. So I'm going deselect and actually exclude the quick tag. And from those, I actually want, want it to be long as well. So long, and let's try now. Perfect, so let's download it quickly. Okay, so now I've got my long soft whoosh. I'm going to drag across to DaVinci. I'm going to find the transition, layer it under and bring the volume down just a notch for the whoosh and here is the result this is quite nice you can carry on adding the uh, whooshes for every transition i'm not going to do it now this is not a purpose of this tutorial so let's now go to the mid tones and let's delete the whoosh from the searches make sure your tags are cleared now i'm going to use the moods filters again i'm going to look for something that is peaceful I like this bridge however okay i like this bridge one 
Okay, so we've got something from a low tones. What you want to do now is go to your mid tones and you can find one and select. I'm going to, and, and drag it across and layer it with your low tone. I'm going to skip ahead and go straight to the high tones. And I'm going to search for something positive. Really like that orchestral texture stem, um, which is a part of the track coming from the moment track. So let's quickly download that as well. I'm going to trim it from the front and move it. And now I'm going to fade this audio track in using the keyframes. Okay, unlike that, the next thing I like doing with the custom soundtrack is going for and searching for the signature sounds. Um, by the way, one important thing to bear in mind is when you start to layer our sounds, you want to pay attention to the file names of the tracks. So if this track um, starts with the C, um, you don't need to know any of the music theory, but if it says C in the app, you want to go to this little filter view here and select works on C and hit OK. And the searches from here, when you layer them to the um, soundtrack you're working on, they will work perfectly on that sound you've selected previously. I really like this one. Um, so yeah, let's quickly download. And let's drag it across. And let's place it right about here. Okay, that whoosh is probably still a little bit too intense. So let's bring the volume down even more. Now let's go to, let's search for some more signature sounds. All right, let's use that. So like that, you wanna probably use the signature sounds for the new scenes. You can have few going on one scene too, why not? Now let's go to the top phrases and those are more of a melodic, um, more of a melody um, audio layers that you can use. So that's nice. I'm also going to trim it from the back and fade it out probably about here. I don't recommend layering few top phrases sounds on the top of each other. The idea behind using the kinds on the left hand side in the menu is to be taking one sound from each of the categories. So one from the low tones, one from the mid tones, one from the high tones, and then you can layer the signature sounds as well as the top phrases and rhythms, and you can layer hits and sound effects on the top as well. So one from each of the categories. But if you take few sounds from a single category, you're risking that your soundtrack might just not work musically. Yeah, I hope you get the idea of um, how, how to use our app. If you have any questions, then uh, feel free to let me know in the email. Also, um, yeah, feel free to browse our packs here in the app and preview them. And if you like them, hopefully you'll make them your own and your custom soundtrack possibilities will expand. 
So please let me know if you have any questions and I hope you like the new app. Thanks.